Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this Elementor tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can hide a tab like this if an ACF field is empty. So I figured out a way to pull this off with just using a few lines of JavaScript. Let's just jump into the back end and show you how everything is set up. Here we are on the back end of that Elementor page and we're just gonna be focusing down in this section right here. So if I go right here, you'll see I'm just using the regular tab widget inside Elementor. And above that, I just have this little bit of JavaScript code. We're gonna come back to this later, but first let me show you how everything is set up. So in my case, I just wanted the ability to show and hide this tab right here called video dynamically. So if the user did not input a YouTube video or a video link, this tab right here won't show up. And then if they do, it will show up dynamically. So I figured out the best way to do this is you just go into your new tab. I'm just giving it the title video. And I definitely figured out that if you use a short code for your template, this is gonna make your life a lot easier. So in this case, I just dropped in this template right here, this short code. And let me jump over into that page and just show you what I have set up. And here we are on that template. And as you can see, I just have one field right here just called video. And I'm pulling in an ACF field that I just called video tab right here. That's it. So whatever your ACF field is going to be, you're just going to want to select that right here. And usually by default, it's not going to show anything unless you go underneath settings and preview settings. And then, you know, put in something right here. So the only thing that you really need to worry about on this page is one really important aspect, and that is go underneath advanced on your ACF widget and underneath your CSS ID, you need to give it a unique ID. So in this case, I'm just calling this ACF video. So the JavaScript is going to look for this ID and if it displays or renders it blank, it's gonna not show that button. So just hit update and then you can jump back into your page right here. So above your tab widget, what I recommend is just dropping in an HTML widget and just paste in the code I have in the description below. Uh, once you paste that in, all you're gonna need to do is change out two things right here and that's it. So the very first thing is that unique ID you just assigned to your ACF field, just make sure you put that in right here. So in this case, I just called it ACF video. And this right here is probably gonna be the trickiest part, but it's really easy to pull off. And you need to find this unique ID right here for this tab. And what I recommend is going into the front end of your website, inspect the code, and then you can just change this 5374 to whatever you know your tab number is. And to get that ID, you just need to go into your inspect. So just hit F12 and you'll see that your inspect widget will come up. Just click this button right here at the top and hover over it until you see it look like this, where it's all green, all the padding showing right here. So you can just click that. And then if you look into your code right here, this is going to be, let me stretch this a little bit. So like right here. So this right here is your code. So you're gonna to wanna to look underneath your ARIA controls and it should say Elementor tab content and then this is your unique ID for that tab, 5374. So you're just gonna to wanna to go in here and just change this number. And if you're wondering while I'm pulling this in uh, as a div ARIA controls, and that is because of mobile. The way Elementor works is when you switch your widget tab into mobile, it takes it out of um, the layout that it's using for desktop and using a block. It's, it took me a little bit to figure this out, but this is the easiest route is to just use this right here and you won't have to worry about changing your display conditions on mobile and desktop. It, I spent a lot of time figuring this out and this is definitely the easiest way. So, and that's it. Once you have that in there, you're just gonna go ahead, hit update, and then you can do some testing. And here we are on the back end of that page inside WordPress, and this is the ACF field right here. I just have my video URL link right here. So of course, when I hit refresh, that code is gonna keep that video tab by default. Now, let me go ahead and delete that and show you that it works correctly. So if I remove that, hit update, and now if I refresh this page, you're gonna notice the video tab is no longer showing. And then if you go back and you add that back in here, hit update, now if I hit refresh, the video tab is gonna come right back. Now tell me that's not a pretty cool trick without using any additional plugins or a lot of code. I figured out how to do this with just a couple lines of JavaScript. Make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to this YouTube channel, hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new tutorials like this. Again, this is Mark from Wiki Design.